Hi, hello, wherever you are, and welcome to my speed build. So I created a modern starter home. It's a little bit more than your regular starter home. It's about 24,000 simoleons, and normally they start out at 20,000 simoleons for one single sim. This particular house will only hold two sims, so you might have to start out, have them work for a little bit, and kind of work into this home. I'm telling you, it's worth it. I love this for a cheaper build. It has a rooftop balcony that you can actually host parties in. I think that's pretty cool. And you can access it from the outside. So Sims don't even have to go in your house. You can lock them out and they can go right up to the balcony. There's going to be a grill out there as well as some seating out there. Not too many events to do, but you can get together with some of your friends, sit out there, barbecue, whatever. I had to step out of my comfort zone a little bit for this build because I'm not too used to building modern. This this one was pretty simple. It wasn't too, you know, detailed. It was just basically two boxes. But I did like how it turned out. I love putting the green hedges like that to use for like fencing. It creates some like color, but it also gives it some kind of uniqueness to it. So that way it's just not all that same siding. Which now looking back to it, I should have used that green hedging on the top balcony, I believe. I think that would have looked a little bit better. And I might actually go in and change that but this build is going to be on the gallery, so if you want to download it, change that, you're more than welcome to. Now the stairs, I had a hard time with the stairs. You can see I'm struggling with it a little bit. I tried turning it, I tried putting the fencing at the top to try and do that below look to where you could actually be at the top and see the below floor. I couldn't figure out how to do that for the life of me for some reason. I probably could have looked it up. It is what it is. I just left it the way it is because I didn't care that much. Now I did want to break up the area a little bit, so I did put the, the posts there and I left it a little bit open because I didn't want to put a wall there to make it cut off because the space is so small that you do want to have a little bit of area to be able to feel open. But I did have a little bit of a hard time having the post there and trying to put the fridge in front of the post because it did cover the door so it looked like in real life you wouldn't be able to open the door but in sims it did work but i just didn't like thinking about it like that and this kitchen will change i will tell you that i did not like those um base game cabinets they just weren't fitting the vibe for me i did try to put them in there because i did want to keep this in a starter home budget but i also wanted the house to look a little bit better so i did give myself an extra four thousand simoleons so that's why we do have the better cabinets in there i love those blue cabinets from dream home decorator they are my absolute favorite cabinets um i use them quite often. I did this build when I was playing on my own and I used yellow cabinets and I thought they looked so good because I used the yellow cabinets as well as that eco lifestyle flooring, which that flooring I will mention I thought was tile because it gave off like a tile vibe. Ends up it was wood. Did not know that. It was in the wood section. So I was kind of surprised about that but it was wood. Now upstairs, I struggled with it a little bit because you will see in a little bit that I tried to put a side table next to the bed. And for some reason in The Sims 4, side tables are huge. They are chunky, they are way too big. So I did size it down, but when you try to put an object on top of that table, they float. So it was just floating there, I couldn't get it down, and I was struggling with that a little bit and I just left it because I just couldn't figure it out. I know there's ways to do it. You can put something next to it and move it over and use the zero key, which I did try to use eventually and that didn't work either. So I didn't know how to do it. I just left it. Now the bathroom, I struggled with that a little bit. You could see too, because I was trying to use two different kind of wallpaper. I love using like a feature wall. Deligracy, if you watch her YouTube videos, go watch her, love her. She talks about feature walls a lot, which I love because it breaks up the room and it doesn't make it like too consistent. I don't I don't know how to really describe it. Um, so I use a lot of feature walls in my builds just to kind of like break up the area, which you can see in this room I do as well with the same kind of shiplap kind of look. And I love how the blue tint on that kind of matches the blue tint of the bed as well. And it's kind of funny because the outside of the build does not match the vibe of the inside of the build as well, which I thought was kind of funny. And on that wall too, I had nothing on that wall. I didn't want to put another window there because we did have like three windows on that one wall. So I felt like it would be a little too much. And I was going to put a painting there, but I felt like it was, we already had a big painting on the other wall. And if you're walking up, it just seemed like it was a lot. I didn't really know what to do with that wall. This is on the gallery, like I said. So if you want to download it, put whatever you want on there, go for it. I would actually like to see some of your guys' builds. So if you do download this house, you can upload it, tag me in it. I am Tyler Sims 99 Now I love that rug that I put in there. That rug I have never seen before. There's a lot of things in this game that if you've been using for a long time, you have swatches that are like your favorite 
favorite swatches. So you tend to just end up using them for everything. I put that rug down, not even knowing that I've had it, and apparently I've had it for a while. And I just gotta play around with some swatches, you know? Like, apparently there's a lot of objects in this game that I didn't realize that I had, but I just have to look at the swatches. Now, I did fit a lot of stuff under the stairs there, so I felt like that was a good use of space. Now, I wasn't sure how I felt about it because it wasn't very decorated, but like I said, once you move in there and you start making some money, you can always upgrade it and decorate it more. Now that thinking about it, if you look at that dining room table, I should have left that natural wood color. I felt that that looked a little bit better. The white table was a little odd to me. I don't know why. Like, I felt like the white just sticks out a little bit too much. So I probably would go back and change that as well, or just change the table altogether, because I was trying to use the blue chairs to match the blue walls. It might have been too much blue, but I thought it looked kind of good. I don't know. I was feeling like a blue vibe for the inside of this. That's why the kitchen matches kind of the living room. I felt like it kind of flowed together. Everything was blue. It looks consistent, I guess. Oh, this is my favorite part so this is the out this is the outdoor balcony that I put the the table and the grill on but yeah this is what a very quick build it didn't take me very long to do it we're almost at the end and when we do get to the end I'm gonna jump over into real life we're gonna walk together we're gonna look at the build a little bit more closely and this one I do have a computer in I was kind of proud that I did fit the computer in that's why I gave myself a little bit bigger of a budget because the first build I did did not have any skill building items in it but this one did so I was kind of happy to have that in there so this house you will get your money worth out of I will tell you that you can add a back door right where that trash can is and have a backyard I'm just adding my final touches in here just to have a little bit of decoration here's the outside so I'm gonna stop it here and we're gonna jump into real time all right so now we're back in the build I actually really like the lighting that's going on right now so this is the whole thing don't even ask me who the sim is I don't even know his name I just threw him in here Dwayne great Dwayne here is the final build and here's kind of a little bit of the walkthrough. We have the kitchen right over here. I, like I said, I love these blue cabinets. I think they look so good with the flooring and the wall and all of the decor that's going on in here. I also love the rug that we put in here. Here's the little dining room. I don't have much on this wall. I didn't know what to put on this wall. So when you move into it, feel free to put whatever you want on this wall. I guess it's more of like a loft, I guess you could say, because there's no wall here. So we're in the loft and this is where the main bedroom is gonna be. I didn't know what to put on this wall either. It was weird because it was right next to the stairs. So I didn't know if I wanted to put like a window there, even though we had the window, you know, right over here. This side of the loft that has a little bit of decoration on it with the big picture. Again, I didn't put anything on top of this. I couldn't get it to fit. So if you move in here, feel free to put whatever you would like. So yeah, yeah, this is the whole entire build with the outdoor section that you can walk up to. So Sims don't even have to enter your house. They just walk up here and they walk up this stairs and they're right here. So even if people are here, they have a bathroom to get to. Now they will have to walk through your bedroom, but the bathroom is right here. It's Maybe not that big of a deal. I don't know how you feel about it, but to me, I think it'd be fine. But yeah, so here's the whole build. I did put it on the gallery, so if you would like to download it, it is there for you. I'll see you in the next one.